911, what's your emergency? Do you, do you know the address? Sir, just, sir, try to calm down. Tell me the address. See, a, a construction site, a... an excavation collapse. An excavation and trench emergency is a very technical response requiring specially trained personnel. In addition to that, the type of injury that occurs in these kind of emergencies oftentimes uh, either results in serious injury or death. In terms of whether, whether you should attempt a rescue as an employer varies on the situation but I would highly recommend that a safety plan, a safety briefing be a part of every job in the event that something does occur. If you find yourself in the unfortunate situation to help to help one of your employees due to an excavation or trench rescue, some things you can think about doing are throwing them a rope, throwing them a shovel, putting a ladder in place so they can help self-extricate themselves, and certainly, Call a 911 as soon as possible. In a trench and excavation emergency, you can expect that the dispatcher uh, will ask the type of emergency, some details about the emergency that you're involved in. For example, if uh, you know dirt is on top of one of your employees, they will definitely want to know your location. They want to know your name, they want a callback phone number, uh, and all of this is oriented towards getting someone there to help you as quickly as possible. If you have an emergency and need to call 911, the arrival of the first fire engine or medic company is going to range anywhere from 4 to 15 and possibly longer. How quickly the first emergency unit will arrive at any emergency is dependent on uh, the type of fire department that exists in that area. In the event of an emergency, like an excavation collapse or a trench collapse, uh, you're gonna get two levels of response. You're gonna get your initial response, which is your uh, operations level firefighters trained in firefighting and emergency medicine and a number of other uh, primary hazards. In the event of a trench rescue or an excavation collapse, there's another level and that's a technical rescue level. They're assembled from uh, a variety of different departments and they take longer to arrive. If you find yourself in an excavation in a trench emergency, uh, you can expect that the responders, uh, you'll hear them obviously with the sirens and uh, you can help guide them in and you can provide them information onto the location of the patient and the circumstances around what occurred. Excavation and trench emergencies are low frequency, however, high risk. High risk meaning that when they do happen, they're often disastrous, resulting in serious injury and death. I've been in this business for over 20 years and I've seen a lot of tragedy. Excavation and trench work is dangerous work. As an owner and leader, it's your responsibility to protect your employees. <laughs>